I'm back and I'm streaming. I'm on. I'm live. So my all of my beautiful followers. All zero of you in the chat right now. Hi guys. So I'm gonna read a fan fiction that I wrote when I was nine. I like to be so embarrassed that I'm bleeding pink out of my eyes. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, I can't fathom it. What's wrong with me? My one viewer in the chat. What the fuck, mate, but Mr. Yeet, no. He was my only chatter. He was the only one night bot. You took him away from me. He was the only guy there. Previously on Super Luigi Fan Fiction, Luigi sacrificed one of his lives, because he's got many, because he's fucking Mario character, to save Princess Daisy. Then Daisy slapped him across the face because he broke a promise. He promised her that he wouldn't die. And then he died, and he came back, so it wasn't a really heavy consequence. But Daisy's fucking pissed! Meanwhile, with Mario. Mario is starting to worry about Luigi. He's gone, he's gone for, uh, for over a day now, and he didn't even leave a note or anything, Mario thought. Maybe I should ask Daisy where Luigi is. She might know something. Mario opened his cell phone and dialed Daisy's phone number. He has opened it like he has a flip phone or some shit. If I could suffer reading this fucking stupid fan fiction, so can you. <laughs> like I said, I wrote this when I was nine, and when I was nine years old, flip phones with the with the next new sh shit. There was there was the whole shit. Mr. Yeet, I see you. I see you in my Discord. And he sent me this. This is what gets slid in my DMs on stream. Mr. Yeet, you've been exposed. Okay, I got you, Mr. Yeet. Pete, everyone knows you send me pictures of muscular birds. I got you guys, I got three viewers. I got three viewers in the chat. This is incredible. I got three people. Yes. Yes, we're going places now. All right, you know what? Screw Super Luigi fan fiction. I'm going to show you something. Get stick bugged. Get fucking stick bugged. Fucking stick for Luigi. <laughs>